welcome back to my channel and welcome to March favorites. Holy moly, Ugh. March is over, which is incredible to me. Like it just, it just flies. It really does. But anyways, I had kind of a hard time picking out products for this month because I felt like I was using a lot of new products like to test out for wedding makeup. And then I used a lot of like safe products because I was traveling. And so it's like, I don't know. I just, I had a hard time pulling out some products, but I feel like the ones that I did are like top notch, really, really good products. First, let's talk about skincare. I have two skincare products to talk to you guys about. The first one is just the package because I used the product inside and I only had one. I really want to get some more of these. Um, they're on back order right now. So like, I don't know. I'll link them down below for you. I actually have a promo code somewhere too. I'll put it all in the description box for you. But this is the Maskology Watermelon Moisturizing Glow Mask. First of all, you guys, this smells like watermelon blow pops. It smells so, so, so good. I love products that smell good. And this is probably one of the best smelling products I've ever tried. It's a sheet mask and the mask itself is pink. So I just love like girly fun unique products that smell good and look fun I don't know but aside from that the product itself actually works really really well to hydrate and moisturize your skin it's supposed to be a moisturizing hydrating and like firming mask all in one I'm like okay I'm all about it sign me up the key ingredients are watermelon fruit extract sodium Tolerant. I can't say that word <laughs> olive fruit oil and jojoba seed oil there's a bunch of other oils and really moisturizing things in it but those are the key ingredients and I definitely definitely recommend this Maskology mask. This is the first Maskology product I've ever tried so if you guys recommend any other other products let me know down below but oh my god I kind of want to save the package just to like smell it. The second skincare product I want to talk to you guys about is by Drunk Elephant. So last month I talked about a Drunk Elephant product and now this month I have another product. So this is like the little miniature sizes of it. I kept the packaging so I could show you guys. You get these at like the grab and go section of the checkout area of Sephora. And this comes with two products. Um, they have, well they have two versions of this and each has two products in it. They have like a nighttime one that includes the serum that I talked to you guys about last month. And then this is the daytime version of it. So it has two little mini versions of their like daytime products. So the first one is the C Firma Day Serum. It has 15% uh, ascorbic acid in it. And then the second product is the B Hydra Intensive Hydrating Gel. This product, I'm having a hard time figuring out if it's a gimmick or if it's like really does what it says it does. Like I feel like it's just a a filler product I don't know maybe I'm using it wrong but this product is so 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 good you guys so I've used this alone and then I've also used it mixed with this and that's the thing maybe I just don't quite know how to use the B Hydra intensive hydrating gel but I've been mixing it with the serum and it's supposed to like lock it in a little bit better I guess uh, but alone or mixed with this this serum is so good it's just like one of the best daytime serums. I've just now started to get into serums like recently, probably in the last six months, I've really gotten into daytime serums. I've always had nighttime serums, but daytime serums, I've been like, oh, I don't know what to use. And especially something like this with like an active acid ingredient. I'm like, oh my God, it's going to be so bad for my skin, but it's not. I'm so happy I've been using it. It just, I feel like this mixed with the nighttime serum, like using that one at nighttime and using this one in the daytime, does something amazing to my skin. My skin has just looked so much more like fresh and less texture and the pores seem to appear a little bit smaller and like I just feel like my skin, I just had really good skin the past month and I feel like it's a mixture of all the serums. Okay, moving on to makeup. Let's talk about a primer. This is the Touch and Soul Nor nor no pore blum primer my sister actually turned me on to this when she came to visit in october she brought her version of this and i bought it in october and i didn't really use it because i was using other pore filling primers and then i pulled this one out and i've been using it for a good probably two and a half months i mean i have a good bit gone it's it's 
a good bit gone. You only need one pump of it. And it really is a really good pore filling primer. This actually might be the pore filling primer that I use for my wedding makeup. Like it's that good, you guys. Sometimes I feel like the pore professional leaves my skin slippery feeling, if you know what I mean. Um, and then some of the other pore filling primers just seem really heavy and really cakey. This is like the best of everything. It's not slippery. It's not heavy. It's not cakey. It doesn't ball up. It doesn't flake off. It doesn't look weird underneath makeup. It's just works really super good. So if you're looking for a new pore filling primer, check this one out. And it's cheap. I think it's only like $18. So compared to something like Professional that's in the $30 range, like it's inexpensive. I tried out a new foundation. Well, new foundation. And I say it like that because I've tried this foundation before, probably four years ago, and now I'm retrying it. And in the past four years, I have tried so many different foundations, probably like 30 different foundations that might be an exaggeration but I've tried a lot so I've kind of forgot how I liked this product or if I liked this product it's the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup foundation I don't know why I read it you guys already know what this is Estee Lauder double wear everybody knows what this is um, they reformulated this to be without SPF which is why I was kind of like wanting to try it again because I'm trying out makeup for wedding wedding day wedding makeup whatever you want to call it and i'm on the hunt for like the perfect foundation and what i've been doing lately is mixing this with the lancome tant idol ultra and i feel like that's what i'm wearing today the mixture of the two and i feel like together they are so good i still need to test them out for flash photography to make sure that i'm not getting any kind of flashback because that's my biggest worry when it comes to wedding makeup but this alone also is a really good foundation. It is super full coverage. I don't feel like it's heavy. I mean, you could definitely see it on your face. Like if you look close up, you can you can see that you're wearing a foundation, but it doesn't feel heavy and it looks beautiful in video. So I'm hoping that it looks video in photography as well. Wait, did I say that right? I'm hoping it looks beautiful in photography as well. I'm like a jumbled word mess right now, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. I wear the color 1C1 Cool Bone. And I think it looks great. Highly recommend. I have an oldie but a goodie that I've been using a lot lately. This is Urban Decay's Sin Eyeshadow. This is one of the pans that is included in the original Naked palette. This is just the single version of it. This is, believe it or not, the second little single compact of this that I've gotten. So I went through the entire pan in my Naked palette, bought a single palette pan, went through that entire thing and this is now my second one of these because this is just my favorite eyeshadow. I feel like it is the perfect all over lid color. I'm not wearing it today because I tested out the Natasha Denota Tropical Palette today. Um, but any other day, like this is just my go-to, like I'll throw a color in my crease, throw this all over my eye, maybe deepen up the outer V a little bit and it's just perfect. Like it's not too shimmery, there isn't chunks of glitter in it. It's like the perfect champagne -y nude color. I have a feeling this is going to be what I end up wearing for wedding makeup. So definitely wanted to throw, I've talked to you guys about it before, but wanted to throw that into this video. I've been trying out a whole lot of new eyelashes lately, specifically by the brand Lily. So Lily lashes I've always been very, very curious about. And I recently purchased a couple pairs off of the Lily lashes website. And then right after I purchased those, they popped up on Hope Look. So if you don't know, Hope Look is the online version of Nordstrom's Rack, but they have like little campaigns. So they'll kind of count down to a mini Too Faced launch or a mini Lily Lashes launch. And if you sign up for their emails, they'll email you a couple days in advance and say like, Lily Lashes coming soon or whatever it may be. And basically it's like discounted, I mean, they have lots of stuff on Hope Look, but anyways, what these are is these, they say Sephora on it, so they're the four Sephora collection of Lily Lashes, and I guess they didn't do very well at Sephora. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why, but Nordstrom Rack now has them. And so anyways, I picked up a whole bunch of different styles of the Lily Lashes. These two have been my favorite. The ones I'm wearing today are actually really nice too. Um, I messed up the glue on it, which I think is what's throwing me off, but I really like the style of it. They have like a more fluffier outer part. These are the Havana style. These two have been my favorite though, the London style and the Miami style. I've been wearing either or for a lot of different things. So I wore the, I think it was Miami, 
no, London, I wore at my bachelorette party. I think it was London. And then Miami, I wore for my bridal makeup tutorial. Like, I've just really been liking these two lashes. They're big and fluffy and dramatic, but they're very, very pretty. Okay, last but certainly not least is a perfume. This is by the brand Chloe. And I always heard about Chloe perfume, but I was never like really intrigued by it. I don't know, something about it I was like, it seemed very like gimmicky, like hyped up because everybody talks about Chloe perfume. This is actually the Roses Day Chloe perfume. I'm not a big fan of the original Chloe. I don't know what it is about it, but I'm just not a big fan of it. This one I found via a sample at Sephora. So I got like a perfume sample of it with one of my orders and I was like, oh my God. I need that in my life. It smells just like roses, you guys. It has a really strong rose scent to it, which I love, I'm all about it. And it smells like fresh roses, like fresh, clean roses. I've been wearing this like crazy lately. I think I'm just in the mood for spring, ready for spring to be here. It does not feel like spring outside yet, but I'm just ready for spring to be here and this is getting me in the mood for it. If you like rose scented things, definitely check out Rose's Day Chloe. All right guys, well those are the beauty products that I loved during the month of March. Let me know down below what your favorite beauty products were for the month of March so that I can check them out. And I think that's about it. Welcome to April, welcome to spring, finally. This is my first time living in a climate where I get like seasons. Before I lived in Arizona, it's just always hot there. And I didn't realize that it stayed cold for so long. So I'm like, come on spring, come on. I'm ready for you, son, let's do this. Anyways, all right guys, I will talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.